Hello, welcome to my channel DevOps City. Um, today I'm going to, to show you how to trigger Jenkins pipeline from, from, from GitHub. All right. So uh, this is the project we are going to work with, uh, Caesar Cypher. Um, the purpose is not to show you how to build this, uh, this project. We are just going to, to use it uh, in order to, to see how to use Jenkins. Okay, as you may know, Jenkins is a, a very popular CI CD tool. Okay, last time I <clears throat> we have been working with uh, GitLab, but today we, we are going to deal to focus on Jenkins. All right, I have provided here the, the original link of this uh, this repo okay i'm not the one who have developed the, the project okay um okay let's go to jenkins uh in this video i'm not going to walk you through the installation of uh, of jenkins so uh, i assume you already have jenkins up and running okay we have one pipeline uh Caesar cipher we can check uh, uh the configuration yes so so it's a a pipeline project and uh yes we have put here the the repository url uh it's a public you it's a public repository so we don't need uh, any credential and you have to specify the, the branch, which is main here. Uh, and also this is uh, by, def by default, the file, the Jenkins file, uh, file name. Okay, file, um, pipeline file. This is the Jenkins pipeline file. Uh, like in Docker, we use a Docker file. So there is no extension. All right. So um, this will help uh, Jenkins to grab the code, this code in uh, from GitHub. And to be able to do that, Jenkins is using a plugin called Git plugin. Okay. When you install uh, Jenkins, normally it's come by default. Okay. Now, um, This is the, the pipeline we are going to use. Uh, remember, we have uh, put Jenkins file. So uh, Jenkins is um, expecting this, uh, this file, this, this file to be able to, to do its magic, meaning to build, to test, to release, and uh, probably to deploy. So, um this is the, the 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 syntax of the the pipeline in jenkins so we have the main block which is the pipeline block inside the the pipeline block we have uh, this agent node and the studies block okay agents uh by default just use uh, any all right but um to make it simple uh, agent is just uh, an executable so where the code will be executed and uh, stages and here we can put all the stages in our case you have three stages the build stage the test stage and the release stage okay we are using a java project and uh, uh, for java project we have uh, these two main tools used to build. Uh, where am I? Okay, yes. Uh, the, 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 the popular one is uh, Maven. And uh, apart from Maven, uh, we use also Gradle as uh, uh, as tool to build a Java project. Okay. In our case, we are using a Gradle. So to build, we use Gradle build and to test we use this one and we can also run so when we use when we build uh 
a new directory will be uh, created so here you don't have uh, a build directory but when you build the project you will have a new directory built and inside that new directory you will have a subdirectory lips and inside that subdirectory we have the jar file and we need this jar file to build to run the java application okay for the release part we will be uh, completing it just um, in a minute okay let's try just this this one okay it's already pushed and uh, we're just going to build just to see if it's working for the first time okay to build we we, we can click here build now all right we build let's click as you can see it's running okay let's see all right so uh, it's completed as you can see we have the build the test and the release okay let's go and check it out click here console output okay um so the first thing he has is grabbing the, the 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 code from github and here he built the project and here he tests the project okay and then here he run the jar file and we have the result so uh, as you can see um caesar cipher is just uh, an algorithm used to encrypt uh messages in uh in, in in cryptography so it's a very simple and basic uh in, encryption uh, method uh as you can see here the easy the, the message and here is the the ciphered message the message that has been encrypted okay all right and uh, in the release part, uh yes just for the, the fun i just uh, print all the variables uh, the built-in variables in uh, Jenkins. Uh, sometimes uh, it may be useful to 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 use them. All right. So so you have an idea of all the built-in variables that are that are that are present here. Okay, you can use them. All right. Now we have uh, built we have built manually okay but uh, if we have to do it every time here if we have to to click here to 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 be able to build our our, our pipeline i mean it's useless we cannot automate like this the purpose here is to automate meaning we the the jenkins should be able to run without uh, uh, manual intervention without us clicking manually okay this is the purpose of uh, this uh, video okay how then can jenkins uh, trigger the build automatically that's what we are going to do uh, first of all uh, we need um, a, a plugin a git a github plugin so we have to check if we have the github plugin uh normally by by default also it comes but let's check uh go to the dashboard manage jenkins manage plugins uh let's check if it's already installed uh git github okay here it is GitHub plugin, so it's already installed, so uh, we, we don't have to install it, all right? If it's not installed, you come here, available, and you put uh, Git 
up and you find the github plugins then you can click and install without restarting okay in our case no need it's already installed then we go back to our pipeline configure all right so here build triggers we need to check this one because we want uh the in fact there is uh, many type of uh, automatic uh, uh trigger but in our case what do we want we want jinklings to to build the pipeline to run the pipeline when we commit every time we commit for example i do uh, some changes in my um, in my code and uh, i i commit i push so whenever i push so when i push it comes here to git up okay so uh, it should be uh, a mechanism a kind of uh, um, a mechanism that that will help jenkins to be aware of that okay so we will configure a webhook in um, Jinky in uh, github that will um, uh, send some alert or some notification to 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 jenkins to know okay a build have been uh, a, a commit have been pushed then you can build so that's why we need to 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 check this one github hook triggers for uh for this all right then we can apply save and we need to configure the github web hook so let's go to github so we need this uh this ul go to github we come here settings and um, webhook webhook we have to add webhook here add passwords we confirm okay here payload ul we can paste and then we complete with git hub dash web hook okay don't forget to um to to put this slash back all right otherwise it will uh, not work and here uh, we can choose application json i prefer and also okay just uh, the push event so when uh, i will push then uh, github will notify uh, jenkins okay let's add all right so you can see it should be green here if it's not green uh, it's, it won't work so it's green it means okay last delivery was success you can reach jenkins all right also um yes your ul uh, you ha you should you should have like uh, a public ip uh, if it's um if, if it's not a public ip if it's a private ip so github won't be able to reach your server then uh, there should be uh, another mechanism uh, uh, to be able for github to reach um your jenkins server but this is another topic all right in our case yes we have configured our webhook github webhook then uh, it should be now okay uh, to to receive the notification and to build automatically so what we are going to do we will be then uh let's modify go back here uh what can i change 
let me just uh, change here okay i save okay update okay add commit and let push and see what will happen okay done you see he has received and he's building so that's what we want we don't we don't we we don't want to to build manually anymore we just want a a, a way that jenkins can build automatically without any intervention this is uh automation okay so this is the the first uh, part of this video okay uh, in this video i have uh, showed you how to trigger jenkins pipeline from github okay so whenever we commit and we push our code to git to github github is going to send a notification to jenkins and jenkins will build will run the pipeline automatically without any human uh, intervention okay so this was the first part in the second video the second part then we will be um, i will show you how to to release how to create github release uh, in the second video okay thank you very much for for your attention um if you like the video please uh subscribe and like the video share and uh, if you have any question don't hesitate um to to drop a comment on the in the, in the comment section i will be uh checking and uh i'm here to help thank you uh, and bye bye